You'll note how I've gone around the edges of this to start off with. Now I'm going back over them, just deepening the colour around the edges to get that nice crisp look. I'm actually doing this on art paper because I don't have a cake. So, not to worry. I was thinking about doing dummy cakes, but we'll see. Um, but this is the cake stencil that was ordered, um, which is why I'm doing the range of designs. So, and this is my test stencil, and it has got a little bit of a bubble on the top. Let's see how I'm going around the outsides, nice and slowly. You get the edge, and then you come back and deepen the colour. And of course, monstera leaves are quite light in the middle with with the yellow stemmers. And the little holes, just go around the holes to make sure that they're defined. With mesh stencils, you need to go uh, quite quite slowly. You can tell um, this is hopefully going onto my web page in real time. This is how slow I do all my stenciling. And then with mesh stencils, you need to be um, quite patient because you need to be, build up the layers. If you try and put too much airbrush on them or rush them, you will end up with um, blotching. And um, of course, you've got to watch out for blowouts. So again, just going over it until I'm happy with the, the, the level of cover, color I've got. And just a little bit in the centre. You don't want too much in the centre for the simple fact that you've got a yellow line which will be hand painted. Um, and of course, if you if you put too much in the middle, you'll end up with um, green lines. Anyway, that's uh, another one on the, my monstera leaves. And yeah, continue on.